Europe is a great idea. The monetary union is, though, a delusion that was almost bound to fail. It was built up on an over-inflation of expectations. It's an unstable equilibrium. One day it will all go terribly wrong. Exactly when that will happen, I do not know. But I do know that we're not heading in the direction of a happy ending. We're in a problem because Europe has been a victim of totally over-inflated expectations. People thought that monetary union would be opening the door to paradise, that there'd be richness and wealth and prosperity for all. There was not the feeling that this would actually mean a lot of discipline and a lot of hard work and, and a great deal of difficulty as countries which were not in such a good position competitively as the Germans had to adjust to a German style of their way of life, their economic way of life, without having the safety valve of a devaluation. So this whole anticipation that there would be the door to heaven opening up was totally wrong. And I'm afraid to say the politicians didn't do enough to restrain those beliefs. The expectations were totally misaligned with reality and we've had a very, very severe waking up from what was basically a delusion. What didn't politicians do? Politicians should have prepared the people for the fact that there would have to be discipline and sacrifices here and there was too much thought that consumption would be the future. Low interest rates, which were the absolutely inevitable consequence of this gave lots of countries the ability to live beyond their means without being sanctioned for it. There should have been an effort in Spain or in Italy or in Ireland to have deflected some of the speculation that was going on and there should have been a much greater effort to put those big falls in interest rates which was like a, a gift uh, in the first few years of monetary union to put that gift, that present of low interest rates to work in a productive way that could have built up the productive capacity of the countries for the future. In fact, too little was done, too much was frittered away. And I think there should have also been efforts to prepare banks for what would have been inevitably the consequence of a crash. Uh, monetary union was bound to lead to banking problems. That was absolutely clear. There would be asset bubbles there'd be the wrong interest rates for the wrong countries and therefore there should have been an effort by bank supervisors to have been preparing for that and maybe not to, to have prevented it but certainly to have been prepared for the consequences. And what shouldn't we have done? The fact that there were spendthrift governments and that people didn't actually pay attention to what would be the outcome I think the European Central Bank should not have been complacent when it allowed countries to follow rules and behaviour that made a bad situation worse. I know you can't blame the European Central Bank too much, you should probably blame the governments still more, but there was, I believe, too much complacency by the technocrats in Brussels, by the governments and even by the ECB and there should have been a greater attention on the underlying fundamentals which were getting really very much out of kilter. There should be more warnings, I believe, and also more tough action by the um, countries that this is going to lead inevitably through one mechanism or another to something of a tragedy. What do you think will happen next? This is a very unstable equilibrium that we have now and I'm not predicting that the euro is going to break up any time soon. I think inevitably this will have to end in one of two outcomes. Either there will have to be some debt mutualization and the richer creditor countries um, like the Germans but also like the Netherlands will have to take over the debts of the other countries in what would be a, a new fiscal transfer system um, and you would need some kind of political union to make that work. Or if that's not possible, and I don't think it is possible at the moment because there's not enough solidarity, I think inevitably those countries will go their separate ways. When that happens, I do not know. Uh, it's very difficult to predict that. I think the essential fault line does run between the Germans and the French on this. So the fault line runs down the Rhine. The peripheral countries are smaller, not quite so important. Some of them are getting their act together. I think the big wake-up call is going to come from Paris and from Berlin. 
And unfortunately, there's nothing like the same level of Franco-German understanding as there was, say, 20 or 30 years ago when this whole dream was being concocted. And therefore, if things really go wrong in Paris, and I think they might go wrong, we will not see much solidarity from Berlin. So the unstable equilibrium could last for quite a few years yet. I think something will happen. There'll be a trigger, possibly from the outside world, from outside the European Union, that will cause what is at the moment a stick of dynamite uh, it might explode, but it might take some years before that happens.